Hi, so I wanted to share how I survived PUPP, P-U-P-P-P, -P -P. that's, um, I'm gonna put the medical term here hopefully, but if not, it's in the description box. Um, it's basically a really, really itchy, um, sometimes red patchy rash that um, de the severity depends for women, but it's pregnant women get it usually, um, some pregnant women get it in like their last trimester or so, or last couple trimesters of pregnancy. Um, and from what I've researched, a lot of people are not really sure why it happens, but there's a lot of, you know, speculation as to where it comes from. One that I found interesting was that, you know, they said sometimes first time moms or boy moms can get it, but they're still not entirely sure what causes it. But either way, it was very, very excruciatingly uncomfortable for me. Um, and it made my last trimester very hard, um, which is already hard, right? With the aches and pains, wanting the baby to come, um, you know, nausea coming back. I had to take nausea medication till the end of my pregnancy. So it really just was like the last straw. <laughs> and so I just wanted to get up here and, you know, share what helped me survive it. Because the unfortunate thing about PUP is that it's not something that goes away right away, you know? Um, and before I share anything with you, I wanna make sure that you always, always, always consult your doctor before you try anything. Um, you know, I know that things are different right now, so if you're not comfortable going in the office, you could probably talk to them and see if they'll schedule a virtual um, exam with you, but really talk to your doctor and see what they think. But I'm sharing what works for me, and when I say works, I mean got me through it, <laughs> because with PUP, it doesn't go away until after the baby is born. And another unfortunate fact is that it doesn't always go away right after the baby is born, but it can actually last throughout your six week, six to eight week recovery period and a couple months after pregnancy. For me, it literally just went away. I've been, I've had my son now um, eight weeks ago and it literally it just went away within the past couple of weeks. So not to scare anyone, everyone's different and the severity varies and we're not, you know, from what I've researched, they're not really sure why. But I wanted to give you some things that can help you. So let's jump right into it. Check with your doctor first and then have at it. Hopefully these things, hopefully I share something that helps you or someone. So the main thing for me was just keeping my skin um, moisturized. Like if it got dry, it was super itchy. It was always itchy a little bit, but if it was dry, it was very, very itchy. Kept me up at night, made it hard for me to take naps. That It was that itchy. It could, Imagine like being bit by like, this might be dramatic, but at the moment it felt like a million like mosquitoes in one part like of your arm or in one part of your leg and it's just like spread throughout and it would go come and go and like migrate to different spots in my body. So here's a picture, or maybe I'm gonna put somewhere on the screen. Here's one picture of what my leg looked like or legs looked like at different points throughout. I didn't take that many pictures because again, these pictures I took from my doctor to see the severity that would change. Um, here's a picture of my stomach. My stomach doesn't look so severe, but it's kind of hard to see because I had so many stretch marks. And then um, here's a picture of my arm. Some of the dark spots you see are like the rash that went away and came back. Um, but yeah, it was very excruciating. It was not cute. You know, I didn't want to wear my cute maternity outfits because my arms and my legs had all these bumps on them. And it was just really embarrassing and uncomfortable. And it kept me up at night. So here's what we did to help. One, I told my doctor, immediately went to the doctor, told them my symptoms, and they saw it. And the main thing they want to make sure is that you don't have the itching of your hands, palms of your hands and feet, because that's something totally different called coleostasis. Hopefully I said it right, but here's the word somewhere on the screen. That is really, really dangerous, and they're always gonna wanna check for that to rule it out uh, because it can actually impact your pregnancy and baby's health and your health and that kind of thing. So sometimes when that happens, they like send you right to the hospital. So thankfully, that wasn't the case with me. They did the test and I did not have cholestasis. So again, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. So um, yeah, but they, just, they, pres they prescribed me a steroid or like a higher strength hydrocortisone cream, which I have to be honest with you, probably was one of the least effective things that they gave me. Um, yeah, it was it was really bad to the point where we were discussing like elective induction because it was just like, I, how am I gonna live like this for however long my pregnancy is? Cause you don't know, right? So here's the things that work for me. Number one is this pine, this grandpa's pine tar soap. You can get it on Amazon. 
buy it now buy more multiple of them because the way that you need to use it you need to lather up your your whole body in the shower and it's a natural soap lather up your whole body especially the areas that have the itchiness or the rash and let it sit I thankfully have like a little bench in my shower but just like let it sit while you're washing your hair make sure you really lather it up and let it lay on your skin and honestly if you're able to I'm not sure your work situation but do it as many times a day as you can especially before bed because I could not sleep that's how itchy I was I could not sleep it was it was really difficult um, so that's my first recommendation so get that grandpa's pine tar soap and I'll put the link in the description box below for it on Amazon all right another thing I used I was constantly just lathered up um, cocoa butter or shea butter cocoa butter um, Palmer's which a lot of women use anyway for pregnancy so we've got this one just the regular um, one that's like heal softens rough dry 24 hour moisture and then this one which is like massage lotion specifically meant for uh, stretch marks I use that I used both of them <laughs> they're probably really similar products but listen when you are itching like I was itching and like you might be itching watching this video you will try whatever you have to try okay um, so I have to say this combination I used more postpartum and I used it on my stretch marks anyway assuming that maybe it would help them magically not be there but it didn't work for me for some people it does all right this combination was like something I carried with me on the go so this gold bond Oh, it's not focusing. This Gold Bond Eczema Relief, and it literally says itch, dryness, scaling, peeling, roughness, redness, and irritation. It's fragrance and steroid free. This really worked well for me. Like it would take the itch away for a few minutes <laughs> and I lathered it on and put a lot on. And then on top of it, kind of like a cooling sensation, think sunburn, irritation, think that way. Like that's the way it kind of helps. It was this aloe vera and I had this little tiny one kind of looks like a hand sanitizer. And so these two were like in the purse, okay? This is Gold Bond, Eczema Relief, and Aloe Vera Gel, okay? Um, and then I don't have it anymore because I used it all. And they only prescribed me like three tubes of it and it went like that. It didn't help me, but I hope it helps you. So talk to your doctor. My doctor prescribed um, the hydrocortisone, like the higher percentage. That didn't really help, but um, you can buy more over the counter. I have this Aveeno hydrocortisone cream that I use now for my son's eczema. And it's just 1%, it's over the counter. So you could go get that yourself, especially if your insurance doesn't cover the hydrocortisone that your, or whatever cream, steroid cream that your doctor might prescribe. But this helps, but it goes really fast. So I found that using calamine lotion, which I really hate calamine lotion, is how it looks and how it dries and makes you look super ashy and crazy. But it like, to me, it like, quote unquote, freezes the area of the itch, so to speak. I'm trying to describe the sensation. Um, and you know, it helps with poison ivy, which I've never had, but I've heard is really, really itchy. So if it's anywhere near how I was itching, this helped. <laughs> um, and I'll put this on a lot at night because it just kind of, it, it helped me sleep. It took it away enough to help me sleep. So I used both of these. Hydrocortisone cream is a Vino's brand, but there's other brands. I also used um, Benadryl has a brand that my doctor recommended before he prescribed the, the whatever doctor grade level, medical grade level they can prescribe. And that went really fast. So, like this little tube wasn't doing anything for me by itself. So I had to combine it with Calamine. This was like in the thick of it, okay? When my leg looked like this. This is in the thick of it. And then some other things that helped uh, postpartum or well, really throughout but especially postpartum because afterwards I found that I had the rash for a couple of weeks after pregnancy and then I didn't have the rash but the itch stayed and it was really weird because like I, I felt the same amount of itching but I couldn't itchiness but I couldn't see the rash like I could before so this spray um, this is Palmer cocoa butter formula soothing oil for dry itchy skin it literally, literally says soothes dry itchy skin and it has a pregnant lady on it so apparently they know what we're going through and also just in general with stretch marks and your skin stretching there's some itchiness there but this helps a lot like I would just spray it on the areas and rub it in multiple times a day um, after a shower 
this really helped. And you can see that it was used. <laughs> I, I didn't want to lie to y'all. Some of these products I had multiple of, so that's why they're full. But like some of these things, I'm still using them because they're good products. They moisturize your skin and I don't ever want to feel that itchy again. Um, and then this Burt's Bees Mama Bee uh, Nourishing Body Oil, which again is used. <laughs> on um this just smells good i noticed a lot of moms didn't like it because it has uh an ingredient that i think it's the rosemary leaf extract that some people say is not safe for pregnancy so be careful talk to your doctor but i really like this oil it just smelled good and more than anything it was comforting i won't say it's like the best oil ever but i do like the burt's bee brand and it was really comforting at night to smell and have on my skin because again I was having a hard time falling asleep um, another thing that helped me when I was just in the thick of it I mean like in tears honestly to, to be real with you it was that itchy um, just take you know make a, a cool cloth like cold water and lay it on the areas that are really affected um, have your partner you know help you rub the lotions in my husband would thank you shout out to my husband he really helped me especially with the calamine lotion because it's so dry and it like it runs everywhere it's so messy it was all on the carpet i had to, it was a mess i had to clean it up all the time but it really helped so i used all of these products i'm going to list them in the description box below um listen i'm just here to you know encourage anybody who's going through this it will end even though it feels like you're losing your mind. You kind of feel like a crazy person because you're like, there is, there's not this much itchiness in the world <laughs> between people. Like it's just ridiculous how much itchiness one person can experience. And it was, it was not fun. And so I hope that it ends soon. I hope that these products help you more than anything. I just hope that you have a healthy end of your pregnancy and recovery period and um, healthy baby. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to get to and I made it I didn't think I was gonna make it at some times when I was itching in the night but I made it and so you will too um, I hope this helps somebody uh, leave any questions below and I'll talk to you soon bye